go to stroke and then change the size to 2 pixels. That has a gradient at the moment so I'm going to take that off and just take it to like normal colour and I'm going to put that colour to white. Make sure that your position is outside and that your blend mode is overlay on both of them. As you can see there, it gives it a nice edge and it looks quite professional. Then you need to go back to your layer above your background, which is the background image, and go to the eraser tool. Then at the top there's a little brush and you need to set it to something big like 300 that I've used. And then you can simply brush away and make it blend into the page. So I just I'm just going to run it across the bottom so it blends with the other layers. And then also I'm going to just do a little bit down the side so then if someone's got a big screen and they can actually see the whole template it will actually still blend off into black. So I'll just run it finely down the edges. Okay, now that's done I'm going to put some text on my background so I'm going to press the T and then click somewhere around where you want it. I'll just click there. Type whatever you want in. I'm going to put my website in which is sosguru.com Now go to edit and free transform and you can transform it to however you want it. And then click on the little arrow tool to apply the transformation. In fact I'm going to go to edit transform and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to put it down the side of my page so I click back on the arrow and click apply. And then I'm going to line it up with where the videos would be on my page. There you can go back to free transform and make it look nice. And back to the arrow tool and press apply. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to your text layer and double click on it. I'm going to put another gradient overlay on this so click on that. Move your box to the side and then you can see what's happening. Then double click on the gradient. And I'm going to pick some nice colours for this. So a blue for the top. And then for the bottom, I'm going to get a colour off my background. I click OK on that and OK again and there you can see that's now starting to blend into the background but now I'm going to put a bit of a stroke on it so make sure the blend mode is on normal and the position is on outside I'm going to put the colour to white <coughs> and I'm going to change the pixels to 2 in fact actually I think uh, Gradient would look good on this. So I'll go back to gradient. I'll put the bottom to a white so it looks more like the background where the white lines are. And I'll put the black the top to black so then that looks quite nice now. It looks more professional. So that's the full page. That's more or less done. So then you go to file and save for web and devices. Now in this box that comes up, in the bottom left you can see it says 245.6k there. Now for YouTube you need to be under 256. So adjust the quality in the top right. See there, 30, no, sorry, 73 is too much, but 72 is under it, under 256, so that'll be okay. Then you can see 
then give it a name and save it to wherever you like. I've just called mine YouTube Tutorial Test and save it. And there on my desktop there you can see the file. So if I just open that up, I'll have a look. There, there's a full picture that you're going to be uploading to YouTube. So go back to your YouTube channel. Then when you're signed in, at the top there will be an edit channel bar. Go to themes and colours and click new theme. So then give your theme a name so you know which one it is. I'm going to name mine Flow I think. You need to make sure that your background colour is on black and then go to your background image and select the one that you just made. So there's mine, so I'll just double click on that. Shouldn't take too long to upload because it's not that big. There you can see it's coming and now you can change all the colours for the channel and the text and things like that. But you need to make sure that your wrapper transparency is on 100% and that your other transparency is on 100% as well and click save. And there as you can see that looks quite nice now. It all fades off into black and even if I had a bigger screen it would still fade off to black on the right and left hand side. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, remember to favourite, rate 5 stars if you're on the old YouTube, but if you've got the new layout now, click on like. And remember to visit my website, sign up on there, and thanks for watching.